Kong, King Kong, mutant alligators, and Alex Casey shoots the place up every weekend. Look, I never even carried a gun until a couple of days ago. Well, my dad used to be a cop there. Tell some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no, just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. Nobody's ever said that before. We're coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. I can't land here. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff. Hold it. had to do something about the chain for the door to open. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, first of all... Oh, coffee thermos. Coffee! Yeah, the stupid shut up. Fuckers. I knew it was coming. <laughs> we'll have anything extra. Shotgun, you see. You know, I don't notice much of a difference being on Nightmare. Other than maybe probably taking more damage, I guess. They do seem to go down faster. I just gotta be more careful. But, like, supply-wise? 
Dude. The supplies are crazy. And here's a new song from a band that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets <laughs> of the Fall and their latest single, War. Meta commentary. This is good work. Oh, I'm out of fucking flares. Wait, how'd he get his... Oh, that was... One guy. Oh, no. This is not good. He's gonna hit me with a long range weapon! This might be the best to fucking run. He didn't get me killed tonight. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. My, uh, my brain just clicked with the, these aren't standard power equipment, power company equipment things earlier. It's been her supplying the power company with like flashbangs and all that shit. That's why, because, yeah, that makes, duh. Hi! I'm down here now. Bitch. Sneak up on my ass. Did I accidentally? Yeah, I accidentally jumped over the world, supposed to be. Oh, it doesn't last. 
Damn it. You sons of bitches with your fucking ranged weapons. Got enough to take down one more big guy. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the rider. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years and now only wanted to rest. Suck a dick! Feeling the darkness doesn't want me to do what I'm doing for some reason. It's crazy. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. The Elder God Lyrics by Old Gods of Asgard. The first verse and chorus. Warriors, torchbearers, come redeem our dreams. Shine a light upon this night of otherworldly themes. Odin's might be your guide. Divorce you from the same. 
Hammer's way will have its say, rise up in their name. O oh, memory and thought, jet black and clawed, children of the Elder God, scourge of light upon the dark. Children of the Elder God. Music in this game. Chef's kiss. Hey! You're relieved. Uh, you go ahead and take a break. I'll uh, take one from you. Flare gun ammo. Something big's coming up. They don't just hand out flare gun ammo. Nothing. Philosophical concerns are by necessity abstract. And yet, some of us can find concrete proof of the nature of our existence in night springs. Tonight's episode An Absence of Creativity. Stop here. Or 
Is that too moronic? Is that too moronic? Indeed. Who can tell? It's a fine line between the stupid and the sublime. That was terrible. That was... That was worse than the dream one. Oh, we're just this guy's dreaming. If he wakes up, oh, we're gone. I, I could have wrote a better plot than that. We managed to lose the flock. You're almost at the power plant. Keep going. I'll give you support. Yay. Yeah. Find the lady of the light gone mad with the night. That's how she wants to be. Wait a minute. Hi. Oh god, that's big guys. That's all big guys. Jesus. Give me a second here to Nope. Thanks for the support. This almost isn't even worth it to stand around and fight! not worth it. I recognize the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area signifying hidden caches of supplies. How often? How, how get page? Probably. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Hold it right there, Miss Weaver. Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it. Uh, you knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me. About time, young man. I've been waiting a very long time for you.
It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well-lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? I have a secret route, a lit route, an old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's draining all the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it. Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. Haven't you? You can see the signs. Very few people can. Yes, please. Take what you need. This is all for you, for the likes of us. We, we do Tom's work, don't we? Hurry! The switch is on the wall facing the shore. by old gods of Asgard, the chorus. And now to see your love set free, you will need the witch's cabin key. Find the lady of the light, gone mad with the night. Find the lady of the light, still raving in the night. That's how you reshape destiny. Find the lady of the light. Hmm. Don't mind that, apparently. I dodged myself into the river. Grab that again. sent me to cut the power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I had stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Oh boy, it's a puzzle! If I could figure out the gates, I could use them to get to the kill switch. Three, always remember the lantern. Where's rule number two at? Hold up, where'd rule number two go? How you got? How you got rule number one and rule number three? 
Where rule number two at? Anyways. Number two, keep the lights on. Okay, I'm just saying your rule numbers are out of the world, out of order. Out of order. Who designs these things? In the yard with dark and dark. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go. Such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> and then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. Which looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my name, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room to hide there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written. And none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know. In television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light. The darkness stays with you. You sustain. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Barry, 
We're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. Arrow was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild. As a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor, the chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Switch to the hunting rifle. Crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. There were no bodies in the plane. Oh, flare gun ammo. Barry and his eye of Mordor. Bandage room. Hold up. Barry! Barry! There's a page back. I missed a page. Oh, no, I didn't. Look at me go. She's, she's got it. It's fine. It's fine. Children of the Elder God lyrics by Old Gods of Asgard. The second verse in chorus. Scratching hag, you can rake your claws and gnash your crooked teeth. You've taken slaves like ocean waves, now feel the ocean seethe. Father Tor blessed the war between the dark and light. In their songs, let their wrongs bring disillusion's night. 
O oh, memory and thought, jet black and clawed, children of the Elder God, scourge of light upon the dark. Children of the Elder God. Gone raving in the night. Wait. Oh, was this like a shortcut? I missed it? than I wanted. Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. Ah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. Most of your night running up hills while a crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe. You know your helicopter crash landed in uh, night springs. <laughs> but ow, we're safe in the light. Oh, sure. I should have kept that gym membership. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. Not that hard. Look, you just come step in the light, now they're gone. <laughs> was that it? Are we safe? That was wow. I think Either we're okay. Way, Try not to get us killed. Wait, call the elevator. I'm keeping hey, watch. Ow, I got a bad feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. The funny thing is, 
Man, that's bomb. Excited for part two. Jesus Christ. I'm keeping hey, watch. Ow, I, I hate their fucking feeling. tackles. Let's keep our eyes open. Their tackles are kind of bullshit. I mean, I guess I could just spam my fucking flares, but I'm an ass. Keep my shit. Heads up! Here they come! Oh no! Oh no! Looks like it's better to just fucking not take them out that quickly because you just get worse enemies. Far enough. I swear this is the slowest elevator in the world. It's almost here, Wake. Just hold on. Or is it battle time? It's kind of hard to say. That's bad. Or maybe not. crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas? Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. <laughs> Let's be careful, okay? Oh, jeez, I hate this. Coffee. Okay, Wake, there's a button over there that opens the door. Yep, and I'm sure hitting it will start a big old booty butt cheek fight. And, um, I don't want a big booty butt cheek fight. I just, I just want to go home. Can we just go home? The last night's fruit. Alright, fuck it. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in.
Fuck you! ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Standing there and not actually moving. I get on the searchlight, he just stands there. Enough. You will go no further. Go again. Many years now. There's no shadow in the well lit room. The 
tower is fail-safe, and all the bombs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Take it. Then I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because six and... 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late, and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. I can't let them in. 